Greetings to you, Congressional Representative Charles Albert, Dutch, Rupus Berger, the 3rd of Maryland's 2nd District. We are anonymous. Your conduct has not gone unnoticed by us, and the time has come to address grave concerns we have, with your interests and activities. We are legion, and our eyes are upon you. In accordance with Phase 2 of Operation NSA, we have been paying careful attention to your public financial disclosure statements, along with your voting record, and have found you guilty of treachery. As a ranking member of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, and one of the Gang of Eight, you are tasked with protecting the American people from threats to security both foreign and domestic, while scrupulously defending the rights of the American people. Despite the fact that you have voted against the Protect America Act of 2007, which made the PRISM program possible, you voted for the extension of FISA and the Patriot Act in 2011, and worst of all, you are responsible for co-introducing the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act, also known as CISPA, along with Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Chairman, and fellow Gang of Eight member, Representative Michael Rogers, the Republican Congressman from Michigan, in introducing CISPA, voting in support of roving, warrantless wiretapping, and failing to protest the clearly unconstitutional PRISM program, of which you were undoubtedly aware due to your membership in the Gang of Eight, you have failed to protect the rights of the citizenry, while accepting political contributions from affiliates in the PRISM program as well as from defense contractors in the business of providing satellite surveillance and drone technology, that have been, and will continue to be, used against citizens of the United States. Do you not see the inherent conflict of interest in this? Anonymous does, and we are extremely displeased. Your campaign committee and leadership pack have accepted $320,700 in political contributions from Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Comcast Corporation, General Dynamics, and Northrop Grumman. In fact, during the course of your career, you have accepted, in total, over $600,000 from defense contractors choosing clearly the interests of the military-industrial complex and its growing culture of domestic surveillance, as well as affiliates in PRISM's domestic spying program, over the constitutionally protected rights of the American people. As a member of the Gang of Eight, you are in the unique position of being briefed, as required by federal law, on every intelligence operation and initiative undertaken by the federal government for the purposes of legislative oversight. There is, therefore, no way that you were unaware of the abuses of PRISM, or of the 86-page opinion by the FISA court outlining what they believed to be a gross abuse of the Fourth Amendment rights of the American people, as well as the fact that warrantless collection of data upon those not immediately believed to be in connection with a national security issue, such as indiscriminate warrantless wiretapping or mass data mining, exceeded the scope of the 2008 FISA amendments and are therefore unconstitutional. What did you do to put a stop to these abuses, Congressman? What did you do to protect our rights? Instead of standing up for the American people, and despite a long-standing veto threat from the White House, you reintroduced the CISPA bill with mere cosmetic changes and amendments that you asserted addressed the privacy and civil rights concerns of the bill's opponents, but in truth did nothing to solve the threats to our citizens' rights and protections posed by the bill. Warrantless wiretapping, the proposed changes under CISPA, and PRISM's activities degrade, if not destroy, the protections guaranteed under the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America, a central pillar of the Bill of Rights. Your activities threaten to return us to the days of the abuses of the British, writs of assistance, which were the very basis for the Fourth Amendment's creation. In the text of the amendment, Unreasonable warrantless searches and seizures are prohibited, and warrants must be limited in scope as specified as per the courts, after probable cause has been lawfully demonstrated. Your actions, and the actions of those like you, have brought us to a dark place in which the words of the Fourth Amendment are ignored, on a daily basis by federal, state, 
and local law enforcement, hastening a militarization of the police that at its present trait has inevitably led us to a police state in which freedoms are completely ignored. Congressman Rupus Berger, you have benefited politically and financially from the deliberate and premeditated erosion of the civil liberties of the American people, you have sworn an oath to protect, all in the name of political expediency and self-glorification. This must stop. Anonymous will make sure that the American people know of your betrayal in your conspiracy to deprive your constituents, and the rest of the citizens of the United States, of their human rights, for the sake of furthering your political agenda. Rest assured, you will not escape the scrutiny of Anonymous. We will continue to watch, and, should your malfeasance continue unabated, such as your recent vote against the Amash Amendment, designed to rein in the NSA's unconstitutional spying activities, we will be sure to expose it to the light of day. A virus has been detected. Anonymous is working to correct the system failure. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.